So welcome to this latest video 162 Matt and in this video we'll be going over some GCSE Matt exam questions based around conversions. Now as always I'll include a copy of the test paper that we go through in this video in a link in the description and I'll also include some lesson links that go over this topic in greater detail. Now before we get started let's just have a quick overview over what it is you need to revise when covering conversions. Now the most important thing is you need to know what metric units are, what are imperial units. You also need to know how to convert metric units into other metric units, imperial units into other imperial units, and convert to and from metric to imperial. Now, metric units are not given to you in the exam paper. Imperial units and conversions are given to you. And if you've got quite an obscure metric to an imperial unit, that also will be given to you. And I think that if you go through this topic test, you'll get a greater idea of what type of stuff is given to you and what isn't. You also need to know how to convert area units into other area units and volume units into other volume units, as well as converting compound units. Now, compound units are where you're dealing with a mixture of different units. So for pressure, density, for force, and density are very, very popular ones in maths. But this is also covered in a separate topic test, which I'll record shortly or is going to be on the playlist included in the topic test that we're covering. Now, again, if you have absolutely not uh, no idea what I'm talking about or unsure about the imperial and metric units and converting, then I'll include lesson links in the description below. And I'll strongly recommend that you watch those first before tackling exam style questions. Now, before we get started working through these exam questions, just a little reminder that if you're wanting access to these questions, all you need to do is just simply click on the link in the description. Otherwise, you can simply pause the video as I read out the question, have an attempt at it, then unpause to reveal the answer. So quest, looking at question 1A, it says, how many centimetres are there in 6.3 kilometres? So for this, what you want to do is go from unit to unit. So 6.3 kilometres, if I multiply that by 1,000, I convert it into meters and then to go from meters to centimeters i multiply by 100 to give me the answer into centimeters so it's going to be 6300 multiplied by 100 which gives me an answer of 630,000 centimeters then for question 1b it says what is 2.3 meters in millimeters so for this i convert 2.3 meters into centimeters by multiplying by 100 so that gives me 230 centimeters then to convert centimeters into millimeters i multiply by 10. so then to do that it's going to be 230 multiplied by 1 by 10 and that gives me an answer of 2300 then moving on to 1C, it says, what is an area of 45 centimetres square in millimetres square? So for this, one a recommendation that I do is try and think of two numbers that multiply together to give you 45, which is 9 and 5. And if I convert them both into centimetres, then that area is going to be 45 square centimetres. Now, if I draw the same rectangle or yeah, rectangle, and rather than using centimetres, I convert these units into millimetres. Well, five centimetres is 50 millimetres. Nine centimetres is 90 millimetres. So then to work out how many millimetres square it is, I just multiply those two numbers together. So 90 multiplied by 50 gives me an answer of 4,500. Then moving on to 1D, it says how many milligrams are equal to 18 kilograms? Well, 18 kilograms is equal to 18,000. I don't know what's happened there. 18,000 grams. And then if I multiply that by another thousand, that's going to give me what the units in milligrams is going to be. So the actual answer is 18 million. Then for question 1E, it says convert 2 meters square into centimeters square. So again, if I draw a shape, with an area of two meters, so that's going to be two meters by one meter. Now I want the units in centimeters, so if I convert two meters into centimeters, that becomes 200, that becomes 100, so it becomes 200 times 100, which gives me an answer of 20,000. 
Then for question two, it says convert 30 kilometers into miles, use eight kilometers equals five miles. So for this, I need to do 30, divide that by eight, because I want to know how many eights there are in 30, and then multiply that by five. And if I work all of that out, I get an answer of 18.75 mile, miles. Then moving on to question three, it says convert 127 square centimeters into square inches. Use one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now I'll show you two ways in which you can do this. So again, if I think of a shape that gives me an area of 127 centimeters. So if I go for one centimeter by 127 centimeters, then what I would then do is convert each of these into centimeter into inches. So I do that, so centimeters into inches, I divide by 2.54. So one divided by 2.54 is gonna give me an answer of 50 over 127 inches. And 127 divided by 2.54 gives me an answer of 50 inches. So then to work out the area in inches, it's going to be 50 over 127 multiplied by 50. And if I just type that into my calculator, I get an answer of 19.685. So it's going to be 19.7 and that's to one decimal place. Another alternative you could do is if I want square inch, so one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, then one square inch is gonna equal 2.54 squared centimeters, square. So then what I could then do is do 127 divided by 2.54 squared in which I still get the exact same answer. So there's two ways in which you could get the correct answer. Then moving on to question four, it says change 105 kilograms into stone. One kilogram equals 2.2 pounds and one stone equals 14 pounds. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is do 105 and I'm gonna multiply that by 2.2 and that gives me an answer of 231 pounds. I then, knowing that one stone equals 14 pounds, if I divide that by 14, that will give me an answer of 16.5 stones. And there is my answer for that one. Then moving on to question five, it says Peter is six foot four inches tall and Damien is 177, 170 centimeters tall. One foot equals 12 inches and one inch is 2.5 centimeters. And the question is asking who is the tallest and by how many inches? So if we then work out Peter's length height in inches well six feet that's going to be six times 12 and then i'm going to add four inches so that gives me a total of 76 inches so then i then need to work out what damien's length is going to height is going to be so damien is going to be and it's going to be 170 divided by 2.5 and that gives me an answer of 67, uh, sorry, 68 inches. So all I then need to do is work out the difference between the two. So clearly Peter is taller and it's gonna be by eight inches. Then working with question six, it says in a race, Alex runs an, at an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour and Lucy runs at an average speed of three meters per second. Who runs faster? Now for this, what we need to do is we need to convert both the units so that they are the same. So for this, if I look at Alex, now for Alex, I'm gonna convert it. I'm gonna work with kilometers per hour. So he runs at 10 kilometers per hour. I then look at Lucy. Now in terms of Lucy's units, I know she work, runs three meters in one second. So what I need to do is I need to convert both of these units into kilometers and into hours. So to convert meters into kilometers, all I've got to do there is divide 
by 1000. So 3 divided by 1000 is going to give me 0 0.003. Then seconds into hours, well, seconds into minutes, I divide by 60. And then minutes into hours, I again divide by 60. So in total, I'm going to be dividing by 3600. So this then becomes 1 divided by 3600. And then if I then enter this on my calculator, so if I do 0 0.003 divided by 1 over 3600, I get an answer of 10.8 kilometers per hour. So then all I then need to do is compare Alex's speed, which was 10, Lucy's speed, which was 10.8, so who's running faster? The answer is Lucy. Then looking at question seven, it says Sue's car travels 45 miles per gallon. One litre of petrol costs £1.85 and one gallon equals 4.5 litres. Work out the cost of petrol when Sue drives 270 miles. So for this, what we need to do first is we need to work out how many gallons Sue is actually needing. So we're going to do 270 divided by 45 because he's traveling 45 miles and that equals six gallons so then if I then convert that into liters so if I multiply that by 4.5 that's going to equal 27 liters so then all that's left me to do is then work out the price of that so if I then multiply that by one pound 85 I get an answer of £49.95. Then moving on to our last question, it says the water pressure in a house is £50 per square inch. And it says one pound is 0.45 kilograms and one square inch equals 6.25 square centimetres. And the question is asking convert this pressure into kilometres, kilograms rather, per square centimetres. So first of all, let's write down this as a fraction. So that's going to be 50 pounds per square inch. So then to convert that into kilograms and into centimeters square, well, to convert pounds into kilograms, I need to multiply by 0 0.45. So 50 times 0.45 gives me an answer of 22.5 then to convert square units into centimeters square well I just multiply that by 6.25 so that's going to be 6.25 so then all that's left for me to do is just enter on the calculator 22.5 divided by 6.25 which leaves me with an answer of 3.6 and there is the end of this topic test.